unbelievable. Suspected gunmen abduct academic teachers, students in a do state, according to news reports that is filing in. Reno Omokri, an author and former presidential spokesperson to President Goodluck Jonathan during his tenure, has reacted to the news making rounds regarding the mass abduction of students and teachers of the National Institute of Construction Technology located at Urumi, Esan North East Local Government Area of Edo State. Some national dailies like Daily Post Nigeria had earlier reported the mass abduction in Edo. Unidentified gunmen was said to have stomped the school, the institute, late last night and whisked away an unspecified number of people, including students and staff, to an unknown location. Commenting on the mass abduction, SP Belo Kotongs, who is the state police public relations officer, said it was true there was kidnapping. He added that the police have been trailing the kidnappers, but said they could only confirm abduction of three people, and that includes one staff and two students of the institute, as at the press time. Reacting to the abduction, the former presidential aide, Reno Omokri, said he only hoped the report was not true. He added that if it is true, it means there is now a widespread of abductions ravaging Nigeria, saying that it would be the first mass school abduction in the southern parts of the country. His exact words reads, The reported abduction by bandits of teachers and students of the National Institute of Construction Technology, Urumi, Edo, if true, is a dramatic, a dramatic escalation in the banditry now overtaking Nigeria, as it will be the first mass school abduction in the southern Nigeria. To a very large extent, this has not gone down well with lots of people who have lent their voice to the campaign against this particular evil. The mass abduction is only possible in the north because of the evil collaboration of the wicked politicians and security agents all in the name of religion. But how easy is it to carry 300 persons across states on foot without being noticed? It can only happen in the northern part of the country where people practice religion without the fear of God. Coming to the south, how possible can you know a mass abduction be? Of course, such abduction can only happen in places or locations that are off the town. And if such happens, then it shows that Nigeria is in for the biggest shock of her life. Mass abduction has never been recorded in the southern part of the country. I mean mass school abduction. So the question now is how did it happen? How did they pull it off? What exactly were they up to? What exactly are they up to pulling off such a stunt? The question remains that the threat of abduction of students, staffs, has now taken over and hit the country, meaning no particular region seemed to be safe. It was the northern part of the country that was, you know, ravaged with this particular uh, or characterized with this particular menace. But from the look of things, 
it's as if the southern part of the country is gearing up to also experience such an ugly incident. The question now remains, how do we put an end to this ugly menace that is ravaging the country and that has taken over the country? If care is not taken, there's going to be serious challenges, serious consequences, as it were. If it is true, according to the former presidential spokesman, it means that, to a very large extent, the southern part of the country is in for the biggest shock of its life. How can gunmen, you know, carry out this particular abduction in the southern part of the country? It is what it is. Nothing is impossible and we should not write off anything. But the question is, could they be northerners? Could they be southerners? And if that is, if they are southerners, what are their plans? Are they willing to turn the southern part of the country into the northern part of the country? Or do they want the south to experience what the northerners are experiencing as well? What could be the rationale behind this abduction? And uh, what exactly do they want? Are they demanding ransom? Or what exactly are they demanding? As at this point in time, you know, the, there are no calls for adoption that has been registered yet. But it is really, really sad and unfortunate that the abduction has been reported on national dailies across the country, which to a very large extent seem to determine that the abduction is true. Well, it is what it is. Since the police in Edo State has confirmed that there was kidnapping, then it shows that to a very large extent it might just be true. So what are they doing to um, save the kidnappers or those who have been abducted? What are their plans? It is sad and unfortunate, but it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Well... Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.